Series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly set up a car capsule. The first thing you want to make sure is that you are located near an electrical source uh, so you can plug the fan in. The other thing you want to make sure is you keep away from out any outside doors and heat sources. The surface should be as flat as possible. The base mat should be located with all sides accessible to work the zipper. So the next thing we're going to do is unroll the base mat. Roll it out flat and keep working it out and pull the sides out. Okay, we have unrolled the base mat with the PVC facing up. The next thing you want to do is locate the zippers and unzip them towards the blue air, take, air intake in the back. The next thing you're going to do is fold back the PVC top toward the air intake exposing the base mat. And it's easier if you kind of fold it as you go back. Okay, so you want to make sure that the base mat is flat and try to get as many wrinkles out as you can. This will make uh, driving the car under the mat much easier. So our base mat is flat and ready to go. We can now pull the car onto it. And as you can see, we have lined up as much as we can the vehicle to the base mat. Now you can either back it in or pull it in forward, whatever's easier. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, back this car up onto the base mat. Okay, we pulled the car onto the base mat. A couple of things you want to remember is you don't want to turn the wheels on the base mat. You want to pull straight in and straight out if you have to maneuver it to get it on there properly. You need to leave equal distance around the whole base mat on both sides. That's plenty of room for you to get down there with the zipper and everything. Okay, next thing we're going to do is insert the fan and the power supply. Insert the fan panel into position and smooth out the Velcro. Make sure that the air intake hole and the fan is lined up. With the AC adapter, push the male connector through the slit on the underneath side of the base mat. There's a hole there made for it. And then connect the male end to the female end of the fan motor. You want to make sure the power source on the fan is in the upper left. That's the proper placement for it. All right, we're now ready to put the PVC top back on. One thing you want to make sure is if the exhaust is still hot, you want to let it cool before proceeding to this step. Starting at the air intake side, carefully drape the PVC top onto the vehicle. Now for demonstration purposes, 
Oh, we do recommend if it is a convertible to leave the top up and the windows down either halfway or all the way. And it is easier to do it with two people, but we're showing you that it can be done with one. Just work yourself back and forth until it has covered the car. The PVC top is now on. We're now ready to zip the perimeter of the base mat and the PVC top with both zippers. Starting at the fan intake end, zip them all around the bottom until they meet on the opposite end. Once it is zipped up, the next thing you want to do is plug in the 12 volt transformer into the wall outlet and hold the fan upright until the bubble can support it. You don't want the fan to lay flat, so you want to just kind of hold it up upright like that. It takes about a minute to get some buoyancy inside, then you can let it go until it gets a lift if you want to hang out to it. You want to go ahead and kind of walk around it and pull apart where the PVC has been uh, stuck together. Starting to get some air in it now. Total time should be about anywhere between seven, maybe nine minutes to inflate. We're about two and a half minutes already. It's probably about halfway there. Once the capsule is completely inflated, insert the filter by pushing the brim inside the flap around the fan air intake. All right, here we are. We got a complete car capsule set up. Vehicle is completely enclosed. It's 100% ready to go. What you have here is it's going to keep your car dirt free. It's going to keep it dust free, moisture free for however long you decide to store it most innovative car covers on the market. We got a nice five pound sledgehammer right here. Right here guys, we're gonna to toss it at the car caps to see what happens. As you can see, it doesn't really even make a dent. She can hold five pounds, that's nothing. We decided to up the stakes today. Our favorite wheel brand, Von Max Wheels, decided to throw an 18 inch wheel at the car and see what happens. Surprisingly, not surprisingly, this thing can held anything. She's pretty buoyant, she takes the plow, keeps on taking your brand new car inside, looks great.